base. Well, it's Lego, it's not Lego, it's Mega Blocks. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> and that's why I bought this lot. I bought this whole set, which I'll build and I'll probably review on the Dinosaur Toy Blog. But the real reason why I bought this huge Mega Blocks set was this little guy here, an elusive plesiosaur. So yeah, I'm really happy with him. <laughs> really happy. What other bits have we got? in the set. Oh, here's the head. <laughs> Bit of a cheeky grin there. 1992 it says. So this would have been in the 90s. So here is the Mega Bloks T-Rex uh, constructed. It only took about 15 minutes and then the little please you saw which was the whole reason for me purchasing this one in the first place, which is a really nice, uh, cute little figure with these very broad paddles. And to my eye, it looks like a Cryptoclidus. I suspect that that was the genus of Plesiosaur that inspired the model, but who knows. The instruction book, Mega Blocks. That's how I looked when I opened the box. And inside, there's some quite nice artwork there of the Tyrannosaurus. A bit of information about the dinosaur and then the instructions on how to build it. Uh, so Mega Blocks, it's sort of like a, a cheapo version of Lego, I suppose. Although, and whether it was cheap or not, I do not know. They're quite detailed, they're quite nice. Here's one of the trees and the style is very much like Lego. And when I was building it for the most part it's it's good quality all of the blocks fit together quite closely and tightly and uh, they're all quite good quality quite hard quite strong and let's see there's the head of the T-Rex which has got these really nice eyes like the Tycho Dino Riders eyes they have a, a gleam in them they're almost like glass eyes they've got a realism there so they're nice So now we've got a few more deliveries. Uh, both of these are from Japan, I believe, and as to be expected, they are more marine reptiles. Um, we'll do the big box first. Okay. It's another pleasy saw. And this one is blue. So you can just see inside there the blue colour. And you can try and take them out here and see what we can find. So this is the favourite Plesiosaurus uh, vinyl model, dinosaur vinyl model designed by Kazunari Araki and it's um, quite an impressive model actually not just for its size and its striking colour but there's an, a lot of detail here as well if you look at the head you can see there's a lot of details, the eyes, the nostrils, the teeth and it's a, a really good uh, figure. It, it is very reminiscent of the smaller scale version of the same figure. One moment. 
Uh, here we are. Yeah, you can definitely see the similarities in the shape and pose. So this is the favourite soft model version. Uh, the re-sculpt, the second sculpt of the Plesiosaurus on an acrylic stand. And it's in a very similar pose with these quite broad flippers. So they make an, a very nice pair together. And we'll put that one to the side. And now move on to the final box to open today. Something... Uh, hmm. Well, I didn't order this, so I hope I've got the right delivery. What is this? A little... <laughs> a little jockey, number eight. Um, how unusual. Maybe that's a little bonus. We'll, we'll soon find out. Uh, okay, well, I, this is all of the packaging. Some Escher paintings, an Escher painting. See, I thought that I cut through whatever important gubbins were inside there when I cut that, but that is just packing. And what we do have inside, in the bubble wrap, is this. If you maybe can just see through there, it is the shape of a Mosasaur. Alright, let's open up the pack and see. I'm intrigued about this jockey on a horse and I'm guessing it's a, a little freebie that the eBay seller has thrown in for good measure which would be very kind if, if that's the case. Uh, here we are, so my Japanese is non-existent but what I can see is Super Mystery Magazine MU, UMA and Heart, I'm not sure if Heart is the company, so UMA appearance map. This is where they appear. Now I think this is from a series of cryptozoological creatures. So what do we have? Maybe Chupacabra, Bigfoot. This is one of those flying critters. Uh, several aliens. A big snake. Uh, there's the Mosasaur. Now I, whether people really do see living Mosasaurs or not, whether that's been reported. I've not heard of it many, if any, and there's a Loch Ness Monster at the bottom, so the Loch Ness Monster I probably won't go for because it's got these little horns, so it's obviously not supposed to be a plesiosaur, it's not supposed to be a, an accurate reflection of a marine reptile, it is the Nessie creature. Whereas the Mosasaur, it looks for all intents and purposes like a Mosasaur, so I thought, well, why not add that one to the collection? Here it is. Ah, it's actually quite small. But it's a nice little model as well. So... That's that one. That's this unusual little bonus, the jockey. Completely inappropriate for this channel, but if anybody wants that, drop me an email. And there's the favourite large plesiosaur okay so this is the box for the mosasaur and inside is a little leaflet super mystery magazine MU and there is a photograph of a carcass of a whale almost certainly or some sort of basking shark and this is presumably what's been wrongly interpreted as a Mosasaur, hence the depiction of a Mosasaur in this series of cryptozoological creatures. Mm.